Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a special edition of the Grizzly Digital Network. We're joined by one of our newest members of the GDN crew and Mr. Hassan Khan. Hassan, how are we? Fantastic. How about yourself? I am excited. Today we are introducing a brand new feature presentation featuring our Grizzly student athletes who embody the Grizzly Athletics five core values system of respect, responsibility, sportsmanship, service, and the pursuit of excellence. Today we have a phenomenal story of a brother and sister who have come from all the way across the world to be here at GGC. Hassan, tell me how Luke and Amy Moreland embody sportsmanship. Well, Luke and Amy, siblings from Australia. Uh, Luke is a rising senior, Amy a rising sophomore. And the quality of sportsmanship is one that a lot of athletes across many rosters, across our sports teams, they embody sportsmanship, but what makes Luke and Amy so unique is that they're siblings. And even though they like to bug each other, bother each other at times, um, they still respect each other and love each other in the end. Well, without further ado, we get to our initial core values series, Sportsmanship with Luke and Amy Moreland. All right, Luke and Amy Moreland, siblings here at GGC. <laughs> We thought we would have a little bit of fun, so we're going to see how well you know the other person. So, with that said, we're going to ask you guys some questions. You guys wrote down your answers. Mm -hmm. First question, who is more competitive? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, this was hard. Like, when we were both younger, we always went at each other. I don't know. It's me. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Next question. <laughs> who is better at cricket? Yeah. <laughs> He's a boy, it doesn't count. He's always going to be better at sport. Luke and Amy Moreland grew up in Queensland, Australia, about an hour outside of Brisbane. Each had their own unique journey to the United States. For Luke, it began at an early age. I picked tennis up probably when I was four or five. I play, always played other sports as well, and then when I was probably eight or nine, tennis and it was tennis and soccer became like the main thing and and then I eventually chose tennis but yeah tennis has always been a massive massive part of my life. Luke continued to play tennis all throughout high school where he received many offers from schools to play at the collegiate level. He took a giant leap of faith by moving across the globe to play in New York. His experience there not what he expected. I was in New York for probably four weeks it was the complete opposite of what I thought it was going to be. Just everything kind of was just what I didn't want. Academically, Luke's grades began to slip and he found himself not wanting to be there anymore. He eventually transferred to Georgia Gwinnett College where one man influenced him to continue collegiate tennis here at GGC. Head coach of the tennis program, Chase Hodges. We got him down here uh, on a recruiting visit from Australia. He was in the New York area. I had some connections and, uh, you know, I looked at his results and I felt like he was a guy that could really help us. I feel like Chase is like one of us, one of all the, all the guys on the team. We're all real close with Chase. He, he'll talk to us about, I don't know, anything we want and Chase is cool with everything. So, no, I love it. Sitting here across from you, you seem like a really chill person, but I've seen you play multiple times and you're really passionate on the court. Are you a different person on the court? I've always been like that. Every sport I've played is, I'm just so passionate about it and just so competitive, I think, so. That passion led to the men's tennis team winning the NAIA National Championship two years in a row. During his tenure at GGC, Luke has made some positive changes in his character that will greatly affect him for the rest of his life. What are your plans after tennis? I'm not sure, I'm, I'm hoping to stay over here, hopefully for a little bit. I wanna try and get my masters and then still trying to figure that out. I got a year and a half to sort it out, so we'll see where it goes. While Luke and Amy both possess the quality of sportsmanship, it's not uncommon to see one get under the other's skin at times. What does Amy do to annoy Luke? I'm the best sister. Go through my phone. She knows she does it as well. Yeah. Now it's on camera. <laughs> so I was uh, right. That's pretty, that's pretty true. I uh, never do that. Come on. <laughs> 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 
Luke's journey to where he is today had an impact on his family for sure, but words cannot describe how influential it was to his younger sister, Amy Moreland. I played tennis and soccer like my whole life. I sort of followed, followed my brother, so whatever he did, I sort of did because I wanted to be just like him. So if he had soccer practice, I'd play soccer, and then if he had tennis practice, I'd play tennis. Amy's main sport of choice growing up was soccer. Just like her brother, she had offers to attend college elsewhere. Yet, her heart for her family led her to Georgia Gwinnett. I had like other, other opportunities to go to other places, but when I had the opportunity to come to the same place as Luke, definitely like, it was perfect, it was awesome having him here. Even though she was scouted to play collegiate soccer, she would pick up tennis as well, becoming the second dual sport athlete in GGC history. The second dual sport athlete in GGC history. What does that mean to you? It's, it's awesome, it's cool, but I'm just happy I have the opportunity to be able to play both tennis and soccer uh, at college, so it's awesome, I'm loving it. Now I know you don't want to upset either coach, but if you had to choose between one sport, would it be soccer or would it be tennis? Oh, that's such a hard question. They're both so such different sports. Like soccer is such a team thing, and then tennis is sort of different. But if I had to choose, honestly, I couldn't. Like I love both of them like just as much as each other. Even with all of these accomplishments, Luke and Amy never forgot the importance of family. Now you can be completely honest. Are you on good terms with Luke? <laughs> We're always on good terms. We're always cool with each other. Would you say you're on good terms with Amy? Yeah, definitely. Both siblings make time to stay in touch with their parents back home in Australia. Hey. What's up? Hi, guys. How are you? We finished soccer practice for, I think, last week or the week before, maybe. So it's good I just have tennis now for a few hours every day so I can just chill and do my schoolwork in the afternoon. It's crazy. My first semester was really hard. When I first got here, I was just like, wow, this is going to be crazy away from home. But I always had Luke there. Like, he helped me with like my rent and how to do everything. We're really close to our family. I talk to my mum probably nearly every day, even if it's FaceTime, text. Talk to dad probably three or, three or four times a week. We're really close to our parents. I'm so sick of cooking every night, I mean, especially for this one. <laughs> cooking for yourself is like... It's nowhere near as good, but... Is that a, is that a thanks, Mum, for all those years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like I tell you all the time. <laughs> of course. Would you say that there's some sort of sibling rivalry between you two? I don't think so. Only because we're brother and sister. I think it'd be different if we were both... Like, both, if we were both boys, both girls, but... I'll text you guys later anyway. I'll give you a call. Love you guys. Bye. Final question. Are you glad your sibling is here at GGC? Definitely. Mm -hmm. For sure. It's awesome.